some things to tell the people of the world, and you must convey my message to the masses. Dost thou have paper? Uh, I got my phone. That will do. Now, pay attention. Here is how to help a loved one with an eating disorder. One, thou shalt not ever say the words, just eat. Definitely know people who've done that. Two, thou shalt never get into power struggles. Oh, snap. I think I've done that. Three, thou shalt not place guilt, shame, or blame. Yep, seen that done before, too. Four, thou shalt not talk about weight, calories, or eating habits. Know some people who are guilty of that. Finally, number five, thou shalt not label food as either good or bad. Yeah, definitely know people who do that. These are my five commandments. Follow them or perish. So, are you telling me stuff that I should do? Because that's just a list of stuff that I should do. You are correct, my child. Thou shalt not do any of the things that I have just mentioned. Right. But what about things I can do? Uh, love thy neighbor as yourself. Bye. <laughs> um, okay. Bye. Alright, so the eating disorder God was right, you shouldn't do any of those things. But you know, the eating disorder God didn't go over what you should do, so I'm gonna cover that. First, you should read. Read, 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 read. There's tons of information out there for you. Go to your library, pick up some books. I'll include a list of the books that I found to be most helpful to me in the description box. As much information as I got from reading, I got even more from listening. With an open mind, not judging. I think that's key. You don't need to understand to be able to listen. You gotta recognize that this isn't just gonna go away one day. It's a process, it's a struggle, and it's gonna be up and down, up and down, up and down. One day they may be doing really, really well, and then a couple of days later, they're not doing so well anymore. And that's just how it's gonna be. Be there for your friend when they're happy, when they're sad, when things are good, when things are bad. The eating disorder is something they're struggling with, but it's not who they are, so don't treat them like they are an eating disorder, because they're not. Treat them like a person. Treat them like a normal human being, because they are a normal human being. Be a good role model. Eat your meals. Focus on things other than weight. I know that's not why I'm friends with anybody, because of what they look like. There's a lot more personality and sense of humor and my ability to trust them, all these things. You know, let them know that these things are important to you and that these are reasons why you really like them and that no matter what they look like, you would still like these aspects of them and you would still be their friend. If your friend is just starting to get treatment, go with them, be there for them. I've been to four therapy appointments and two nutritionist appointments and it was never for me. It was always me going there with my friend who wanted support. If they're not in treatment, they're not willing to get treatment, don't force it on them. Plant that seed, show them that it's coming out of a place of concern and caring and not out of a place of control. Communicate with each other, honestly and often. The best question you can ask your friend is, how can I help you? What do you need from me? Listen to the answer and do what they ask. You've got a lot of stuff going on in your life. You got school, you got work, you got other relationships, you got family, maybe you've got your own struggles. So know what you can handle. The worst thing you can do is tell your friend, yeah, I'm gonna be there for you 110%. A month goes by, you realize, oh, it's too much work. And then you drop out of the picture. It's the worst thing you can do. It's really hard when you think you can really trust someone and really depend on someone and then they just drop out of the picture. That is it for this Wake Up Wednesday. Make sure to check out the description bar. I've got some links to some websites with more information about what you should do to help your friend with an eating disorder. So check that out. I'll see you guys next week for the next Wake Up Wednesday video. Bye.